Is this the truest ending in Elden Ring? Who is the ever brilliant Gold Mask and what has Brother Corrin got to do with it? Welcome to my complete guide for Gold Mask and Brother Corrin's questline and how to get the Age of Order ending, which will include all locations, movements, and items that come with it. And it all starts with Brother Corrin with his questline starting early and going all the way to end game. Most importantly though, don't burn the Erd Tree until I tell you to. That's proper important. Anyway, without further ado, Let's get into it. As you start the game and progress your way through, you'll be invited to the round table hold as early as defeating the first main story boss, Margit the Fell Omen. Once you're at the round table hold, if you turn left, you'll see Brother Corin for the very first time. Start having a chat with him and he'll ask you if you seek the guidance of grace and give you a cheeky little prayer gesture. As well as this, you will have access to some other incantations while he remains at the round table hold. Continue to progress through the game, taking on Godric and then reaching Ranala at the Royal Akaria, to which you can then travel back to the round table hold and Corin will tell you he's thinking about leaving to go and find the Noble Gold Mask. Do you know of the Noble Gold Mask? To progress Corin's quest, you'll need to progress to the Atlas Plateau. You'll need to grab yourself both halves of the Dectus Medallion to get there. The first one can be found in Mistwood at the top of Fort Hoy in a chest at the top of the tower, and the second can be found in Kaelid at Fort Farath. Just worm your way through the poison alien pigeons and go up and it'll be at the top of the ladder. Return to the main academy site of Grace, then behind you, go through the portal and make your way to the Grand Lift of Dectus. This is where you're going to use both halves of the Dectus Medallion. Once arriving in the Atlas Plateau, grab the site of Grace just outside the lift and then head back to the round table hold and speak to Corrin once more. This time he's going to tell you about his intentions of looking for gold mask and now actually leaving the round table hold. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble gold mask. Having now moved away from the round table, Corrin can now be found near the map fragment by the Atlas Highway Junction site of Grace. He is having a little bit of a meltdown trying to find gold mask bless him and he asks if you'll give him a helping hand which we will happily oblige. From Corrin's current position, follow the road east and stay on it until you reach the end of a broken bridge. Grab yourself the forest spanning green bridge site of Grace for later on and pass through the portal to the other side. Once you've gone through the portal, turn around and you'll see our lovely chap, Goldmask, pointing towards the Erd Tree. You can try having a chinwag with Goldmask, but he's not really down with any conversation. However, we can now head back to Corin, who is still by the Atlas Highway Junction site of Grace, and tell him that we have found Goldmask. Do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the Gold Mask himself. Exhaust Corin's dialogue and he can now be found at Gold Mask location at the end of the bridge. Speak with Corin and select about Noble Gold Mask. He's going to be absolutely delighted by finding Gold Mask and tell you of his discoveries and of Gold Mask's wisdom. While I frantically attempt to record his wisdom. To continue Gold Mask and Corin's quest, you need to make your way to Lindell Royal Capital. After grabbing yourself two great runes from Godric and Ranala, or even Radan if that's your fight preference, you're going to need to take out the Nobendraconic Tree Sentinel who is guarding the gate. Progress your way through the area and then find yourself at the Western Capital Rampart site of Grace. Head south, sneaking past the stupid Marshmallow Trumpeteer mugs and the lanky gargoyle, then work your way towards the steps and past the tree branch. There's going to be two duelists waiting for you. Take these plebs out and then head east towards the end of the Colosseum and you'll find Corrin and Goldmask at their next location. Corin will be asking his master Goldmask of his findings and urging him to continue his work. Speak with Corin and again ask about the noble Goldmask and he will explain that Goldmask is trying to solve a riddle and it's up to you to solve it. Who exactly was Radigan? The master is stumped. To help Goldmask solve his riddle, we're going to need to defeat Godfrey the Golden Nugget as we need his Sight of Grace to grab the next item. So once you've defeated the Nugget, from the Erdtree Sanctuary Sight of Grace, head east out of the opening and then go up the tree branch to the balcony area. Chuck a right out the door, then a left onto the rooftop and go through the broken window. Head back up this tree branch and place in this lofted chair you'll find the item we need which is the Golden Order Principia. Head back to Corin and Goldmask who are still at the end of the Colosseum. Then you want to give Corin the Principia prayer book to learn and he's going to be asking who is Radagon and loads of other questions. After exhausting Corin's dialogue you'll need to purchase the Law of Regression incantation as this is needed to reveal the secret and the next part of the questline. As you can see there is a requirement of 37 intelligence. If you're not running an intelligence build there's a couple of options that we can do. The first thing you can do is grab some items that are going to give you the required stats for intelligence. These 
is it going to be? Godric's Great Rune, the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown, the Stargazer Heirloom, Marika's Saw Seal, the Grafted Blade Greatsword, and the Intelligence Knot Crystal Tier. However, if you're on a lazy run like I was, you can grab yourself a couple of easy larval tiers. You can find one here from a Gill Lake South site of Grace. Simply target this minion on the hill and it will turn into a relatively easy rune bear for a larval tier. The second one you can grab from the cemetery near the Kaled Highway South site of Grace. Just take out the nobleman by the tombs and he's going to turn into a troll. Wipe him out. Bosh easy larval tier and then another cheeky one if you can go and purchase one from pidia just south of rani's rise if you've gone down the larval tier route simply head to ranala and use a larval tier to give yourself the required stats of 37 intelligence once you've done either of these options with items or the larval tier you want to jump back to the Erdtree sanctuary site of grace and head west through the opening and down the stairs where we're going to find a lift head down the lift and at the bottom of the next set of stairs you'll see a message on the floor which says regression alone Alone reveals secrets. This is where we need to use the incantation law of regression. You need to use it on the message and as you do it you'll notice the statue in front of you will change. Simply walk forward to the next message sign to reveal the secret that Radagon is Marika. Now again, depending which option you pick to give you the 37 intelligence required, either just chuck your items back in the inventory, or in my case, go back to Ranala and use that other larval tier to switch your stats back to what they were before. When you've done this, we can head back to Goldmask and Corin, who are still at the Coliseum at this point, and head straight up to Goldmask, who has still got nothing to say to us. But we can tell him what he has been puzzled by, which is that Radagon is Marika. America, and you're going to get yourself the Golden Order Totality T-Pose, which is absolutely sick. Go and speak to Corrin again, who is confused by Goldmark's findings, but continues his duty as his scribe, and then absolutely rinse the T-Pose even more. To progress Goldmask and Corrin's quest in the next step, you'll need to take out Morgoth and Mug, and get yourself the Rolled Medallion from Melina. Then you're going to want to make your way to the Grand Lift of Rolled, and into the mountaintops of the Giants. But remember, do not burn the Erd Tree until I say so, because it will mess up both quest lines and you won't be able to finish it. Once you've had a bit of a jolly through this next area, you want to find yourself at the Freezing Lake site of Grace. I'm going to show you the safest and easiest route to get to Corrin and Goldmar's next location on the map. Simply head up this little mound here to the first bridge and you want to cross over it. Stick to the edge of this section, otherwise an Erd Tree avatar is going to jump on your head and make your way towards the marker. Once we're on the second bridge, you'll see Goldmar striking that T-pose like an absolute boss, but Corrin is a little bit confused right now and he thinks that the ever brilliant Goldmar is going a bit mental. At this point, if you have the Tonic of Forgetfulness given to you by Raya, this will be Corrin's final location. If you do go down this option, simply rest at the Grace and come back and you will find Corrin's Bell Bearing. However, for the sake of this video, I want to take him to the very end. So in this case, you can now head over to the fire giant and erase that big ginger twat and you can now finally burn the Erd Tree with Melina. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. You're now going to get sent to the cookie crumbling Faramazula. You'll eventually find yourself at the Bullbag Brothers. So you're going to need to take them out, move on, take out the Draconic Tree Sentinel, and finally make your way to Malakev. After you've beaten Malakev, you're going to be sent back to Lindell, which is now the Ashen Capital. From the site of Grace, head south towards the impact point of the Bolt of Grand Sax and you will see Corrin at what is now his final location and will tell you what he really thinks of Goldmars. I finally come to understand. The Master is nothing more than a madman. After exhausting his dialogue for the final time, return to the site of Grace to reset the area and then come back to Corrin's last location at the Bolt of Grand Sax and waiting for you will be all of his items which include his flail, robe and bell bearing. Now, if you turn to face southwest and continue straight towards the stairs and over the fallen tree trunk, swing a left up the next set of stairs and follow the grassy verge and you will come to Goldmask who is either chilling out or is just had enough of not being able to talk. But as you see in front of you, 
will be the Mending Rune of Perfect Order. I'm not going to lie, I was really gutted when I found him in this state, so I just had to chill with him a little bit and take it all in. Once you've embraced these final moments with the ever-brilliant Gold Mask, head back to the Lindell Ashen Capital site of Grace again and return to Gold Mask's last location where you grab the Perfect Order Rune, which is now going to allow you to unlock what I believe is the truest ending of Elden Ring. And you'll also see that you can pick up his armor set, which is Gold Mask Rags, the Gold Bracelets, and my personal favorite, the Gold Waist Wrap. But Matt, where's the sick gold mask hat? Fear not my tarnished gangsters, that is somewhere else and I'm going to take you there now. Pull up the map and you're going to want to head to this marker in the Atlas Plateau. Head to the Road of Iniquity side path site of Grace, which is fairly close to the Windmill Village. You want to head south from the Grace and towards these rocks. Take a little left jump onto the bridge and then swing a right. And hang in there on the edge, you'll have yourself the Radiant Gold Mask hat. Finish the final stages of the game, defeating Gideon the Judas, Godfrey and Horalu, and finally Radagon and the Big Slug. And because I love this quest so much, we're going to put on our best drip and sit on that throne as the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Simply use the Mending Rune of Order, dropped for us by Gold Mask, and you will have the Age of Order ending. Whilst I let this ending play out, I just want to say if you made it this far and you enjoyed or found this video helpful, maybe consider a like, a cheeky sub, and chucking that bell on for any upcoming videos. Cheers everyone, see you later.